So this video was supposed to come out yesterday. I was trying to stream episode 2 on Bandai's website, but unfortunately it just won't load. So I had to turn on to YouTube to actually watch episode 2, unfortunately through an unofficial channels. Okay, let's get back to episode 2 and this is something that I just noticed. In episode 1 and episode 2, there was no opening theme song for the show. And that struck me as kind of odd because usually there would be some sort of opening theme song for most Japanese drama series. But this time around, gonna be real, there is no opening theme song. I was not very happy with episode 1. If you guys see my review, you know that I was kind of on the fence. You know, the show was a little bit slow, a little bit draggy. The characters was not very into... I guess the actors was not really into the characters yet so you didn't really see a lot of character development and they didn't portray the characters very well but episode 2 they pretty much addressed all the complaints I had with episode 1 episode 2 the show was really quite enjoyable the show actually had quite a lot of funny comedic moments as well and of course a lot more new characters the girls are now in the show so there's a lot of uh, new romance love interest is going to be played out in the show and of course the final we get to see the big zaku battle between team monster and the main characters themselves the zaku belongs to team monster spelled as m-o-n-s-t-r-e don't ask me why but that's how they spell their team name and throughout the entire show as with episode one as well we actually paid more attention to the actual setup of the scene rather than the story themselves, right? I actually had to watch episode 2 twice because I was trying to spot what are all the little tidbits that the show producers have tried to insert into every single scene. And true enough, in episode 2, I actually managed to spot this artist station, Gunpla workstation all in one. So that was actually quite a big surprise. So if you guys are wondering what is this, RT workstation is all about. Click on the top right to check out our previous review on that workstation. And of course, there were also tons of Zaku uh, products scattered around Team Monsters Bay. So that was actually quite fun to see those big Zaku. Uh, I think there was one big mastermind Zaku as well that has been set up in the Monster Team setup base. So that's quite interesting. Episode 2 was also um, a lot more mature. There was a lot of sexual innuendos in Episode 2. So this show may not be right for younger kids to watch. So that was quite an interesting decision by the producers. Maybe the show is directed at teens, I suppose. And before I get on further down this video, I uh, just want to lay it out. There will be some spoilers here. So... If you don't want to hear any spoilers, I think you better stop watching this video right now. So, there will be some spoilers, okay? Now, obviously, the show wouldn't be fun if it's just all about, you know, teenage boys fighting Gunpla kids uh, between one another. Obviously, there will be some plot twists. And episode 2, the plot twist came quite quick. Um, there will be a betrayal by a particular team member. And I thought that was actually quite an interesting... Uh, storyline because at one point during the story where the team members were asking Soto hey you know which girls do you like and he did not want to answer so in that moment of silence you know he was pondering to himself there were um, there was a scene where he was at the uh, harbor he was looking at the harbor that was when I noticed that this is probably the time where this character is actually gay he is trying not to reveal his sexual orientation to his team member and maybe that's why he felt uncomfortable at his current team setup because there's so many girls at the base it was distracting as well and there were a lot of you know romance going around in the base as well so that that is just my guess i could be wrong we have to watch what happens in episode 3 and moving forward i'm actually quite looking forward to episode 3 because episode 3 is going to be all about you know why sato betrayed his team why did he defected to team monster but also more importantly as well there will be a new character which is going to be a new girl gunpla battling out with our own team bright so this can be quite interesting to watch so all in all this episode 2 very interesting turnaround for the series it was so much better compared to episode 1 episode 1 was really slow and draggy but i think episode 2 you had great battles 
and you have a lot of great comedic moments. I'm not really too sure about all the sexual innuendo, sexual jokes that's been inserted into episode 2. <laughs> that seems like a weird choice to me given that how they will probably want to have a wider audience appeal. But episode 2 was really quite fun for me to watch and I think adults alike would really enjoy episode 2. So this is our review on the Gundam Build Reel by Bandai. You can watch it on YouTube now on the unofficial channel unfortunately because I try as I might, I'm not able to stream it on the official Bandai website. So hopefully, they will release the official video on their channel soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and letting us know what you think of episode 2. And of course, please stay safe and let me know what kit you guys are building at this present moment. Thank you guys for watching.